guys, I'm back. Um, it's already 25 minutes past 5 in the afternoon. So, almost um, dinner time. So, I'm gonna be preparing dinner. And I have a student who, <laughs> who always uh, hungry whenever she get home from school so I have to to start preparing food also I remember I did not have any snack this afternoon so I'm I'm also starving so yeah I'm gonna be showing you all the the food that I will prepare Guys, while we are waiting for our rice to cook, and I already prepared the ingredients earlier. So tonight, I will cook salmon belly sinigang, and I will be using mustard leaf, um, tomato. Um, onion and of course the sinigang meat so right now I am already waiting uh, for my water to boil and then after that I'm gonna put the onion and tomato so right, right now guys the the tomato and onion is already there because the water is already boiling and we will wait until they are cooked before we will put the other ingredients because we don't want the vegetable and the fish to be overcooked so we will wait for maybe five minutes and we will start to squeeze the tomato so guys the tomato is already cooked. I uh, I also smashed them to to release all the the juice. So it is very important when you cook sinigang, you use um, ripe tomatoes you know, because they are juicier and easy to cook. So we will going to put the salmon belly. I really like this dish because it is easy to cook aside from very nutritious compared to pork and shrimp sinigang so we will wait again until um, maybe two minutes and then we'll put the other ingredients so now we can put the vegetable what I do I put first the, the mustard leaf the mustard leaves because um, it changes the taste like the mustard has um, a sourness no? so put the mustard leaves first before you put your sinigang mix Then we put a little bit of fish sauce. Let's 
bring to a bowl and then we will taste it before we put the sinigang mix or some palok. So now guys, we are going to put the sinigang mix. And then, konti lang naman yun, hindi na yun puno. Put a little bit of salt. We're going to eat. Ayan guys, luto na ang ating salmon. Ay no, not salmon. It's, yeah, it's salmon belly sinigang. Tignan natin. Ayan. Tignan natin. Sayang, I don't have the green chili. Next time. Hmm. Mangatin. Ati na ang ating salmon belly sinigang. So, ayan guys, luto na yung ating salmon belly sinigang. Tikman na natin. So, syempre, may sabaw. Dapat may gulay din na kasama. Laki ng gulay ko masyado. Okay. Dapat maasim yung sabaw. Mmm, may ganun. May kilig talaga. Ang sarap. Mmm, even though the weather is hot, I still like to have sinigang. And this is one of my favorite dish. Salmon belly sinigang. Let's try it with mustard. The mustard really give a lot of flavors to the sinigang. Instead of using kangkong, ayan may gulay pa. Mmm. Ah. Crunchy pa talaga ang ang ating mustard. I hardly recommend this. Recommend this. Masarap. Madaling lutuin. Delicious. Is it cooked? And nutritious so guys I'm gonna end my vlog here I'm just gonna wait for the rice over there and we will going to have our dinner and I hope 
you will enjoy watching this video and i'll see you again in my next vlog bye